days on drum loops can be kind of a tricky business because drum loops have a lot going on. They've got a low end, a high end, along with a bunch of elements in the middle, but causing some variation to your drum loops is often very useful. And that's what we're gonna be looking at in this video. We're gonna be looking at doing this with baby audios spaced out. And I have this drum loop over here. Let's go ahead, bypass this and just hear the drum loop. This is what it sounds like. We got that nice little dun dun sort of effect in there. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring this in and there are a couple principles that allow me to add effects like this. So normally, right, we would just chop this up, rearrange it, maybe uh, uh, compress some of it, not compress other bits, uh, distortion, those sorts of things. Well, these, these effects are always kind of a bit trickier to do because it's, they're really easy to like just go overboard on. So there's a few principles that we can go with. The first one, the first principle is you don't need a lot to do a lot. So, for example, let's just say we've got two engines here. We've got one for the reverb and one for the echoes. This is basically the delays. So we might have a delay on and we can turn one of these delays on and turn on a reverse. And this is going to do a lot. If we add more, it's going to be almost too much, right? So here it is with just this delay on and we're ignoring this entire half of the plugin. So you get those nice little reverse effects that are coming in and there is some filtering and a texture and some other things to pick but we're able to do these like real subtle uh, additions and i find that the reverse effect for drum loops works really well another thing you may not be aware of with uh spaced out is you can actually automate each individual square on and off yourself so let's say for example we go to browse parameters in your DAW. this might be somewhere else if you click you could see each echo step is actually automatable and you have a hard and a soft so hard is just uh louder and soft is less loud there might be more to it than that but that's that's what i look at it is strange it's called hard and soft and not like loud and soft so maybe there is something more to it anyways i'm going to automate this and right now it's been automated to be on maybe for this loop over here the second time or maybe even halfway through we have it off this is going to vary between your loops so let's see if i've uh nailed this and it's gone so you might have it just as a little element that comes in and out what we can do is chop this up and maybe at the beginning you say you know what we don't we don't want that there but on the second half of the loop hmm, that could be a nice thing so we'll just we'll just toss that in there uh maybe we turn on a different one for another bit so maybe on the second half we come into our delay area browse parameters and maybe we want to try out what it would sound like if we just have one on the very first step so we're going to go ahead we're going to automate this and i'm going to have is this on what is it at that's all the way up is soft so we'll go we'll go for a hard one so what is that in the middle there we go we'll have this come up and then i like to always explicitly reset it back to zero just so that it's clear that it's zero then for here we'll have it do it again just for the first piece or you know what no 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 no. we'll do this for the second half that way it's like we've got this every other variation sort of idea going on uh so let's just hear what the second piece sounds like now oh it's still reversed So that could be cool to bring in for a bit, but actually I would like to also automate the reverse on and off. So the reverse, yeah, we don't want that for this second bit. We're done with reversing. Maybe we have this on the soft iteration instead. And that's why we're here. Let's experiment with another spot. Sometimes you can get two going and they, they, they'll they drive together if you get them in just the right locations. And let's start right here. That kind of works out. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. This is something that I might change my mind on later and come back to. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to browse parameters. We are going to automate this one, echo step eight, and we're gonna have this one off. Right here, we'll have it on. We'll only have it on for a little bit. And we'll have it off everywhere else. So you're able to do these things and bring them in sort of really easily with this delay thing. 
<laughs> delay thing the echo pad area give it whatever name you'd like and of course you have some options down here when it comes to the way it sounds but i find picking the right pads at the right moments and messing with the reverse and bringing those on and off can really just be some really nice effects so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the space control and we have four spaces up here at the top outer space medium small and vacuum so vacuum, I tend to stay in, and I tend to stay in the closer spheres. The further out you go, the bigger it sort of gets. So if we move this over, let's just look at the space for now. And then that's like gonna rain it in some. Now there's different effects in each each one. So if you look down here in the corner, we start off with uh, cosmic, and then this is the length, right? How close we get to the center. So cosmic, over here we've got uh, lush, then we have trippy, then we have alien. So let's just go ahead and hear those. Now we've also, I've, I filtered it quite a bit because there's a lot going on in this drum loop. I don't want to mess with too much. Maybe we'll open it up just for now and we'll rein it back in as we want. It's controlled by the mellow knob. And you can see that there's a low and a high setting on it. I tend to stay at Lush for this. And come over somewhere around there. Sometimes I click around. Every now and then Stardust will do some nice nifty things. Oh, and clean up also. So I'm pretty happy with that. So what we're going to do is we are going to, instead of moving this, sometimes I like to move this. Um, if you want some like sweeping effects, you could come over here into sort of these ranges where there's a, a flanger going on. But what we're going to do is we're going to move this guy around. So I'm going to browse, whoops, browse parameters. And we're going to grab this. Now there's two controls for this. There's a wet dry. And then there is also a, um, a echo space mix, which is the X axis. Wet dry is the Y axis. Kind of wish they also had in parentheses X and Y. Be kind of nice. Uh, easier to see what it does. But let's go ahead and go to create an automation clip. I actually clicked the menu option. <laughs> Don't normally do that. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start out over here more on the. We're going to just bring this down. We're going to start out 100% echo at the beginning maybe we have some hint of the space going on and then from here I want to stay just on this topic, but at this point, I would begin to add elements. The second, the second bring in right here might not work as well. So what I might in fact try doing is turning on the reverse right here in the middle of this. This could be an interesting sort of deal. This is a, uh, it's an on or off kind of deal. So this like curve is sort of meaningless. It moves where that switch happens, but uh, I might as well just do something like this. I have no particular reason for turning it off here. I just want to see if it will sound cool. Oh yeah, we'll have it turn off right there. That could be nice. And then of course, when you do something like this, you're probably gonna wanna have a brief volume bring down so that it doesn't sound like it randomly gets louder. But that's a little bit of the process. So we took a drum loop and we could have this drum loop going throughout the track, but we could bring in these small little ideas and effects and sort of mix and match them in order to add some variation to the drum loop on top of what you might typically do, such as chopping, adding distortion. Uh, that's pretty much it. Adding more drums, some new samples, changing the track around it. Uh, just some really, really nice things you can do uh, pretty easily with Spaced Out. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day.